The project is called 40 Days of Dating. Actually, it's just a documentation of our 40 days of dating. Or, you yeah, know, dating. Tim is a bit commitment-phobic. Likes to date many girls at once, and I fall a little bit too quickly for guys. Um, sometimes. <laughs> so there's six rules that we came up with. Seeing each other every day, going on a weekend trip together, seeing a couple therapists once a week. We, we weren't allowed to see, or date, or have sex with anyone else. The idea was basically just us recording what, what happened and what we were feeling day to day. There's eight questions every day that we had to fill out. You know, did you see each other today? How do you feel about this relationship? Did you learn anything new about Jessica or Timothy. After the experiment was over, we kind of put everything together and then posted it on this blog where you could see side by side um, what each of us uh, were thinking for that day. What's really fascinating is seeing how we interpret the same events really differently. She wrote that I wanted to go camping upstate New York, but I don't, I don't camp. <laughs> like when he was texting me, um, he thought he was flirting with me and I thought he was actually getting jealous. She couldn't believe I don't like avocados, you know? But it's not that I don't like avocados. It's that it really bothered, it upsets my stomach. Text messaging and AIM and emails versus a lot of face-to-face -face communication, I think a lot of things get lost in translation. Jessica and I were both byproducts of, of our generation. Everything is so accessible. You know, we can go on OKCupid, you can go on Match.com, and you can, you know, you can like, you can shop for your mate. It's a weird thing that kind of, to do. And, and because of all these options, everyone thinks they can do better. By far the most fun for me was the hand-holding day. So for eight hours, um, no matter what, we couldn't let go. It was actually, you get used to it pretty quickly. And it was, it was fun. Doing something dangerous. I'm going to turn the water on for you. No, 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 no. See, it helps, right? <laughs> the viewer can kind of experience it in a way, like we did. You know, post it day by day. A lot of people actually think it's live. And so people are, you know, rooting for us, or they're against us, or they're we're Team Jesse or Team Tim, you know, and it's like really, there are more people more Team Jesse. We've gotten tons of messages from people saying it's inspired them to do the same. I think it's also just, it's just part of who we are as people, you know, like men and women right there in a nutshell, you know. You know, men are always wondering or curious or, you know, or they like to just flirt with temptation, but then you know, it gives them some validation or something, you know. And obviously that's a, a blanket statement. I can't speak for every male in this whole world, but are you married?